Hi, Dr. Pat here. We're looking at logistics functions. A uh, great formula for talking about marketing and disease control because basically infections, diseases, germs, they spread the same way that information and gossip do. All right, so let's kind of uh, just have a play with a, a model here. We basically have the uh, model that represents the number of VCRs or households that have VCRs from 1980 to 1999. It's in terms of millions, and T is in terms of the number of years after 1980. And so our first question is, how many households in 1988 had VCRs? And so we're looking at 1988 here. Uh, that basically tells me T equals 8 because we're talking 8 years after 1980. So we take that uh, 8, go to the formula, plug in uh, 8 for that T value. When we do that, I highly recommend using parentheses, lots of parentheses, because you've got a parentheses for the denominator. A lot of pieces in the denominator. Got to make sure we use parentheses to tell the calculator that we have lots of pieces. Additionally, in the exponent there, we have two pieces there. We have the negative 0.4 and the 8. They're multiplying, so we need also parentheses for that piece. And when you crunch that out, you get 47.45 million households. The next question is, what's the long-term trend for our VCR ownership? We're looking at uh, the idea, if we continue on this for a long period of time, what's going to happen? Well, hopefully you all realize that VCRs basically are obsolete. I'm not even sure how many of you have actually used VCRs, but uh, basically due to streaming and DVDs and other kind of things, uh, we are looking at uh, these things going out of style, and so uh, the numbers sold... Uh, leveled off. And the long-term trend is represented by the number in the numerator. This 91.86 represents the long-term trend because for an for a logistics model, excuse me, a logistics model here has a ceiling and the number in the numerator is that ceiling. So that's what we have for our long-term trend. Now another example that we have for um, logistics is population growth. Because the catch is, is that exponential functions, although they are great for population growth in the beginning, don't account for the idea that we have basically limited resources. If you had unlimited resources, exponential is a great model for, for, <clears throat> for population. But with limited resources, you got to have logistics. <clears throat> Because your population can't just keep on growing and growing. And so now the question becomes, well, I've got two models at the top of the screen here. Why both of them don't work? So that's what we want to investigate, why both don't work. Now, one of the reasons uh, the first one does not work is because I'm looking at the value 8.78. And for the logistics thing, that's the ceiling. So the number in the numerator represents our leveling off. Well, this graph, it is going to eventually level off, but it definitely goes beyond 8.78 billion. And so we're leveling off later than that. And because of that, because this graph goes beyond 8.78 billion, our first function does not work. <clears throat> Has the wrong leveling off point. Our second function here, though it has 11.5 as a leveling off value, there's something else wrong with it. And what the catch here is the initial value. So when we plug in 0 in for that t value, that means we're going to have e to the 0, and e to the 0 is 1. So in the denominator, we're going to end up with a 10.37 because of these two numbers added together because this part turns out to be 1. And so we're going to have 11.5 divided by 10.37. 11.5 divided by that 10.37 is going to give us a value that's something like 1.1. Now let's look what happens at our initial value. At time 0, because we're doing 0 is 1950, at time 0 our graph is clearly above 2. It's like somewhere around 2.5. So this model right here is giving us 1.1 for our initial value when we plug in 0, and that's why the second one cannot work either. So what is the real model for this data? So if we're using this data, basically what I would do is, again, I'm starting at 1950 is my zero time. It's my starting time. So this first data point I'm interpreting as 93. So in the year 9 after 1950, and then we're at 3 billion. 
24 years later after 1950, basically 1974. So I'm anticipating this is something like 1974. We're at 4 billion. So here's what I want you to do. Take your calculator, put in list one here in that stat feature, put in list one. That's our time after 1950. And in list two, put the population. This is in terms of billions. So once you put that data in there, then go back to your stat, highlight calc at the top of the screen, and then look for the B logistics. Okay, so the logistics model, press enter and enter. And what happens there, it's going to take a little while. The logistic model takes a little bit longer to calculate than the other models for the calculator. And so when you do that, you'll get the values that I plug back into the formula. So we get a C value of 11.5. We get a A value of 3.67, rounded off, I rounded the two decimal places, and then our B value, 0 0.0281, so I rounded that one off as well. And so that's how we can make our logistic formulas using the calculator. Thanks, and have a good day.